everybody, this is the Apple Watch Series 4. What you're looking at here is the new 44 millimeter version, so it's a little bit bigger. I've got it compared to my old Apple Watch here. So you can see that the screen is a little bit bigger, but also more importantly, the screen goes closer to the edge. It's 30% bigger than it was before. Now, if this larger size isn't for you, it is also available in this smaller 40 millimeter version. So there you go, those are the two sizes there. Now, things that are new here besides the larger edge-to-edge -edge screen is that the new larger screen allows you to do more things. So you can see that you can fit just a ton of complications on this thing, and they all can do stuff. So if I tap on music here, go through music, and so you'll see I'm scrolling on this digital crown, and the digital crown, this little wheel here, has been updated, and it has a haptic feedback to it now. And you can, you can kind of feel it when you scroll it around. There's just a little bit of vibration there, which is pretty fascinating. It has a stainless steel casing, and other things that are different, they've moved the microphone over to this side because they've moved the speakers over here and made them much, much louder, so it's more convenient for making calls. But of course, the biggest deal with the Apple Watch are health features, and there are a bunch of new health features here. One of them, for example, is they can detect an irregular heartbeat. They can also tell you if your heartbeat is too low. And all new here, the FDA has approved an ECG. And so there's sensors around the ring of the heart rate monitor, and then also on the digital crown here. And so when you're wearing it, you should be able to just hold your finger on there. It'll read the sensor here and underneath, and you'll be able to get an ECG. Unfortunately, that's that's not running on these models yet. Now, there are of course new watch faces, so you can see these crazy complication-filled watch faces. But if we wanted to take a look at what else we got here, there's these uh, cool vapor watch faces, so this like shows you how cool the screen looks. And we could even go, here's the fire. It is just super fire. Another thing that's new is fall detection. So if it detects that you fall down because you've flailed your arms around, it is able to say, hey, it looks like you've fallen. Do you want us to call emergency services? And if you do, it'll do. And if you don't, if you don't answer at all, it'll wait a beat, and then it will call emergency services for you, which is a pretty nice feature. It comes in silver, gold, space gray. They're aluminum. And uh, this finish here is the brand new gold finish. Pre-orders start on Friday and they ship on the 21st. The smaller one, the standard one, it costs $399 with GPS. And if you want, you can spend $499 to get an LTE. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. This has been a crazy packed hands-on event. We're gonna have way more coverage of all of the iPhone news and all of the Apple Watch news, so keep it locked to the Verge.